Quiere tirar hoy. Qué bien. Ok. Ah, let's go back to the somber mood. Yeah, the creo sadness. que um, perdimos. Um, we lost someone who. Here's the thing with this, right? Um, and we're, we're going to speak about DMX, Earl RB, Simmons. RB DMX, yeah. Earl Simmons. Um, and, um, you know, I think that there's been a lot of, uh, I guess, like negativity around, like, around. around his death, right? Mm -hmm. At first, Super, it was like there's a lot of positivity too, but yeah, he's talking about. But I'm talking, like, I'm talking, no, I'm, talking, I'm talking about. No, I'm not. I'm talking. No, I'm talking about the beginning, beginning, right? Because okay. before, at first, it came out that that he passed away, right? And then everybody was like, passed away, passed away, passed away, passed away, passed away. And then apparently, his lawyer came out and was like, "Yo, he's, he's not, not dead. dead. He's not dead, right?" So he's in the hospital. He's in the hospital. Um, and you know, I think. Um, and everybody was like, prayers, 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 and up, then it was prayers, prayers, up. prayers, 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 right? Um, and then I think. I'm not sure if it was the family who had to make the it hard was, decision. It was the team, yeah. Yeah, they, they had, had to make the, the decision. It was the family that made the decision, but the team put the statement out. Right? Um, then put the statement out that he actually was, um, they actually passed away. I think that, you know, the greatest thing about, I think, podcasting, right? Um, mm. YouTube, um, music videos, music itself, um, is that people get to live Longer. Af yeah. After they are gone, longer. right? Um, and I think one of the greatest things that happened in these last few years um, of DMX um, was um, when he went to Drink Champs. Bro, that was this year. That was this yeah. year, 2020. Yeah. And, you know, and he said this. Yeah. And, and you know you know what they say? And, and this maybe this is a Spanish thing. Um, that people who are going to pass away start... Um, giving away, like, that aura of passing away, yeah. right? And it's yeah. crazy that, you know, in this same year, he goes into an interview and says, if I were to pass today, I would say that I lived a good life. Oh, 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 okay, so... Hold on, before, 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 before yeah. anything, and I think the greatest thing about that statement is, is mm. that not everyone who is currently living... Right now can say something can like say that. something like that, that's right? That's right? And I think that's the power of living at peace. The power of you saying, you know what? I've lived a good life. I've done everything that I can. You know, I don't You know, I don't have many regrets. And if I do have regrets, I've figured out a way that I can live with them and um, find an acceptance with myself, yeah. right? And I think for someone like DMX who has gone through so much, right? Um, you know, whether it's his drug addiction, whether you know his career falling off, and still having these all amazing hits that to this day to us is just like I was talking. That will make me lose my mind. Listen, 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 Come listen, on, listen to one. Listen. Stop. And I say, and I Stop. say, and that same interview, way before, like literally before he said that, um, DMX told uh, um, Nori, he's like, bro, I wasn't even. Supposed to make it past twenty. I'm fifty. That and that's a, and that's he a said. I'm fifty, and I'm good. And that's just crazy. That after that, he after he said that sentence, then he said the sentence you said. You said literally after. I, and no, you know what? I think I think that's the thing, right? I think sometimes we we give for granted the fact that we wake up every day. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah we, definitely. We, we take for granted, you know, the the ability of um of breathing and seeing because like, we're not thinking about it. We see, that's and, what it is. And you know we. Take for granted the ability to see a sun, you know, when we wake up, and um, and to be you able never to wake up, nigga, you be sleeping all day. Yeah, but but I but I should, but I wake up, and that's I, the important I, part. I'm just, shit. Trying to, I'm just trying to break the ice, nigga. Um, but you know, I think I think that's really what you know gives um people such a such a great um persona when you're just able to wake up and know, like, you know what. Shit, I was supposed to be gone a long time ago. A long time ago. And fuck it, I'm still yeah, here. I'm chilling. So you know what? This is amazing to me. And I think, yeah, you know, I think DMX was, you know, he was in full comprehension of that. That you know that he was grateful for the life that he had lived. You know what I mean? And that he was, you know, and, and he was content. And like he said, you know, I lived a good life, and I'm cool with that. And I think that's what people need to live for. You need to live that at the end of the day, that if you were to pass away tomorrow, ask yourself, Am I happy with the life that I lived? Am I good? Exactly. Um, another thing. Yesterday, I'm with DNG, with Shadow, right? We all here in the studio, whatever, recording that, that video, whatever. And we're talking about DMX, right? And then one of those, El Tajalán, El Algo, mm -hmm. he was like, nah, the best song is like, y'all gonna make me lose my mind. And I'm like, okay, 
You can say that. Okay. But when you go to the club and you hear thong, thong, ding, ding, thong, thong, ding, ding, thong, it's crazy. You crazy. Yo, no, no, no. Stop. Stop. Drop. Drop. You crazy. No, but the the um lose the, my mind like the the rough uh, the, the, the rough rider anthem is the rough shit. rider anthem, my nigga. Come on, bro, man. That's that that's different. That's different. That's different. He was like, nah, you bugging? I'm that's like, different. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna play both. This nigga, this nigga produced that shit, right? Um, uh, Swiss, Beats. Swiss Beats, right? Yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, yo, I'll play both songs right now and tell me which one gets you hype. I, I bro, that shit when 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 that shit drops like <laughs> dun, 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 it's over dun, 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 in the club. Dun, 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 We've been working dun, dun, in clubs. Yo, you were working in clubs, at least me, around 10 years now, maybe? Uh, nah. Yeah? I'm at 10. No, me, me, me. I'm at 10, nigga, so you can't be at 10. How are you at 10? I'm at 10, nigga. You took me to work with exactly. you when I was that's 19. Exactly, that's what I'm telling you, you're not at 10. When I was 19. No. I worked your door when I was 19. Uh, you did? I went to the club with you for the first time when I was 18 in New York. Then in New the York. next year, when I graduated high school. New York? Yeah, nosotros fuimos a un club in New York. Okay, down by land. The last time I seen people actually dance like ba 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 at the club was in New I York. Took you? Yeah, we went to New York. We were going to come at six in the morning. Bueno, yo no me recuerdo. Okay, we went para allá. And then the next year, when I graduated high school, is when you told me, "Ven a la puerta, so you get some money." Probably. So, ten, yo tengo diez años. Probably ten. Maybe, maybe I'm a little older. Tú tienes más de diez años. Pero tú estabas cuando cuando tú estabas en college, ¿por qué tú comenzaste? Oh, actually, I do, pledged. I do, I do, because my like 21st 12. birthday, I definitely celebrate my 21st birthday in the club, and I already had a time I was doing it. So I'm at, yeah, I'm, damn, I am at 12. That's crazy. Yeah, you at 12, two years before 12. that. Yeah, I'm at 12 years in this game. 2011 is when I started. Crazy. So 10 years, right? And every single, every single time I hear at the club, dun, 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 everybody's like, ah! Every single person, niggas that come from DR for the first time, hear that, dun, 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 and it's over. It's over. I'm like, yo, you hear this on the DI? He's like, ta loco, dime un loco, go by. It's crazy. It's no, but DMX is it. DMX is it for sure. Bro, that video that um that he's singing in front of all the white niggas, like all the white people. Oh, when he sang when he sang for the world? Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's literally that song. He's like, my dog, dog, what? Uh, dog, dog, uh, 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 uh. And then and then the DJ's like, and he looks at the DJ and the DJ's like, boom, dum, dum, ding, ding. And they were like, ah! You see, no, you see people being thrown up in the air? They don't understand <laughs> what this nigga is saying. That's too funny, yo. And these niggas that was going good. crazy. That was good. That DMX, was good. DMX is that, that guy. That man. guy for sure, for sure. DMX is that guy. Shout out DMX. Okay. <laughs> this is hilarious, actually. This is hilarious. 